boys and girls, I'm feeling very patriotic today, so I'm going to show you a wonderful little book. It's called Election 2020, and we are going to learn a little bit about voting. Will you go and ask your parents if they would like you to take a look at the little book first before we begin? Let's talk about voting. But first, I've got a question for you. Let's say that Nature Cat and his friends are ready to set off on a new adventure, but they can't decide if they should explore the amazing wildlife at the creek or head up to the playground for a fun Earth Day everyday cleanup. How do you think they should decide? How can a group of people make a decision together? Voting is one way a group of people can make a decision together, but what does voting mean? Voting lets people say what they want or believe. Let's talk about what that has to do with the presidential election you might be hearing about these days. When people vote, they make an important choice. What if your family couldn't decide what to eat for dinner? What could you do? Take a vote to choose a dish. As a citizen, voting is very important. Grown-ups who are 18 and older vote when it is time to choose new leaders for a community. This could be the mayor of a city or the governor of a state. Citizens even vote for the President of the United States. Let's see what happens when people vote. On Election Day, citizens go to a special place, like a library, or a school gym, to vote for leaders in their community. Inside, there are many voting booths. These booths help people keep their votes private. Voters select their choices on a ballot and put it in the ballot box. Some voting booths have special computers instead of ballot boxes. After all the votes have been counted, a new leader is chosen. Oh, that was fabulous. I just loved learning all of those new things that I did not know about before. Okay, now we are going to take a look in our little book. Would you please put your name just like I did and we will get started. Okay, now we have our booklet. It's called Election 2020. So it says here that Election Day is on November 3rd, 2020. This says vote. Yes, so if you are 18 or older, that would be your parents and your grandparents, they can vote on November 3rd. Yes, and they can put in a vote for the person that they would like to be president. They can also vote for other things that are very important. U.S. citizens 18 years or older vote on election day. So that would be your parents. And we learned a little bit about this in the video. You can go into this little special place and put your vote inside of this special box here. Yes, your parents get to do that. How exciting. They will choose the next president of the United States. Yes, when they vote, that's what they're doing. They're choosing who they would like to be the next president. Let's find out a little bit about the people who are running for president that your parents can choose from. First, we have Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the Republican candidate. So Donald Trump is a Republican. And your parents can tell you a little bit about that if they would like to, if you're wondering. This is Donald Trump. He is the president of the United States. He would like to be president for another four years. Donald Trump lives in the White House in Washington, D.C. Now, this person is running against our president because he would also like to be president. His name is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is running for president and is the Democratic candidate. So if you want to know a little bit more about a Democratic candidate, your parents can tell you if they would like. This is Joe Biden. He was a U.S. Senator from Delaware from 1973 to 2009. I don't know if you knew that, but he was a senator, and your parents can tell you a little bit about what a senator does, if they would like. Joe Biden was the vice president of the United States 
when Barack Obama was president. Oh, yes. So I don't know if you knew that, but Joe Biden was our vice president. Mm -hmm. So now he would like to be president. So that's why he's running right along with Donald Trump. The results of the election are shared on national television. That means that the news will tell us who the winner is. And the winner is... Oh, it would be very exciting. After everyone goes and they put their votes inside of the little box, we will find out who the winner is. After the winner is announced, in January, January 20th, the elected president will be sworn in on Inauguration Day. Inauguration Day is another one of those big words that maybe your parents can talk to you about a little bit more. Oh, now this is very fun. We can draw a little picture of ourselves and put our name and our birth date and little things here for our, ro our voter registration. We can pretend that we are voters because we will be old enough to vote one day. Won't that be fabulous? We can also have a little bit of fun and we can colour in this voter registration card to pretend that we are voters. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? You could even pretend that you are voting for one of our candidates. You could pretend that you are voting for either Donald Trump or that you are voting for Joe Biden. Yes, and your parents can help you figure out which one maybe you could vote for. Yes, and you can pretend maybe that you are going into this special little place that we found. Oh, it's right back here. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, in here. But you're going to go in this secret little place where no one can see you and you can cast your vote and you put it in a little box right there. And that's when they count up all the votes. Oh, it's very exciting. Okay, now, so this is election 2020 and it's just a fun little book to help us learn about elections. Let's review. When people vote, they make important choices. Citizens vote for leaders such as mayors, governors, and presidents. Election day is a special day for voting. Voters select their choices on a ballot and place it in a ballot box. The votes are counted and a new leader is chosen.